Welcome to Northwood. We're going in search of a classic 70s sitcom. We sure are, and I will be making something in the kitchen that is connected to the show. So let's get started. Yay! <laughs> I was only a couple of years old when The Good Life was first shown on BBC One. The sitcom tells the story of Tom and Barbara Good, a couple who decide to become self-sufficient. Tom gives up his office job and starts growing his own veg, rearing his own animals in their back garden. Um, sounds a bit far-fetched, but actually... It resonates with today's self-sufficiency and using our own produce, growing our own produce. The programme was set in Surbiton, but it actually was recorded, um, the outside scenes, at a couple of houses in Northwood, which is on the Metropolitan Line in northwest London. I wanted to find out where those houses are, so let's take a trip. I've only been to Northwood once before and I had no idea that it was the setting for one of British comedy's most iconic shows of the 1970s. Okay, I'm going to get my sat-nav out to find the good life straight. It's about a 17 minute walk to the houses. I'm not going to reveal the address because I'm sure the people who live there today don't want tourists turning up every five minutes. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see because I've been watching the show on BBC Four on Tuesdays at eight o'clock, and um, I wonder how much has changed in wow, 50 years. Let's find out. So Northwoods, it's a nice, nice little town. Somewhere, as I say, I've only been once before. Uh, lots of little restaurants and cafes and things. Good for a day out, especially when the, uh, the sky is so blue like this. On the show, Tom and Barbara Good's neighbours were the, the complete polar opposite to them. Margot and Jerry Ledbetter. Um, Jerry was a typical office boss, uh, office worker, a um, bit sort of straight-laced. Margot, as posh as you like, um, always wanted to see if the pennies. There was an episode I just watched where she went to the, uh, the rates office. We used to pay rates in this country before <clears throat> poll tax, community charge, council tax, whatever. Um, and she said, well, I'll put, yes, uh, I want a break, a breakdown of the bill. Um, I'll pay, yeah, I'll pay, I'll pay for the lights, I'll pay for the bins. Oh, I'm not going to pay for the sewage unless you come and clean it, uh, the drains, at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. And then uh, Tom and Barbara come in, and of course they're penny, they've, well, I'm not saying they're penny, penny pinching, they've got, they've hardly got a penny to their name. Because they're living self-sufficiently, they don't have jobs. They come in and they have had checks in from people that they've sold veg to and they empty out a whole bag of 2p and 1p coins to pay their rates bill. Um, and then they get a penny back because they'd paid too much. So, yeah, fun times. <laughs> Perhaps not. I was looking at the map and it said to take the next left and then there was no next left but I did spot a public footpath sign because in the UK there's a thing known as a, it's a public right of way where you can walk through people's land and all that sort of stuff um, without being prosecuted and this is like a little footpath just 
you know, leafy. It's lovely. I wouldn't walk down here in a dark night. I'm actually quite scared in the bright sunshine. Um, but it's all sort of, it's all beginning to look very much like the good life now. I can see why they chose this area. Wow, look, it's actual apples, isn't it? Or is it gooseberries? But there's, there's something, there's, there's stuff growing here, fruit. Do you know, look at that, there's berries as well. <laughs> Do you think Tom and Barbara have been out planting? Look at this. It's, a, it's blackberries, red currants, blueberries. God, there's, there's quite a bounty here. <laughs> it's incredible after all these years. Perhaps some of the planting that they did, the seeds that they sowed, have blown into this area and grown food for generations of the future. Well, I'm getting quite excited. We're almost at the end of the public walkway and the road that sits in front of me is the Good Life Road. I know the house number, just going to have a little look around, not going to reveal the road or the, the, the house number of course, and see if I can find it. And that's it right behind me, Tom and Barbara Good's house, not in Surbiton, but in Northwood. It's really weird. I'm going to have a look around just because, you know, I've been watching the show the past few weeks and it's as old as I am. <laughs> it's just really weird being here. I'm going to have a look around. Now, don't forget to subscribe. I've taken a leaf out of Tom and Barbara's book and I've gotten some fresh vegetables, carrots, baby courgettes, pork, One's hiding. And some mini potatoes. Let's see what we could rack up in the kitchen, shall we? What do we do with these? Good question. We're going to be cooking these in a 21st century sort of way in the air fryer. So let's get started, shall we? First things first, let's slice up these mini potatoes. Small slices so that they would cook evenly. So 
So everything seems to be a fit uniform so that they will cook evenly, which is exactly the thing that we want. So we will drop this into the air fryer like so. So let's slice it down, slice it in the middle, each carrot. I'm adding a clove of garlic and a shallot because this will add flavor to the dish. Yay, let's get started. This is all drained and let's add it to the air fryer, shall we? And let's also add some olive oil for um, extra cooking seasoning. Yep, olive oil does add some flavor to it. So let's turn on the air fryer and put it on for about 20 minutes. Oh look, dinner's ready. <gasps> Shall we see? Ooh, look, doesn't this look delish? Well, I only have one phrase for it. Let's play it up. <gasps> Look at it. It's like all these courgettes, they're done. And all these potatoes, they're nice and crunchy. This pork looks divine. These carrots, these carrots look so good as well. I don't even know where to start. Let's start by putting it on the plate, shall we? <laughs> oh my gosh. Did I give each plate enough? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I think there's something about the good life that makes all our lives just a little bit better. Yeah, and I think that it's all about going back to simpler times. Well, it's going back to simpler times um, in a week from now because, yes, we are going live! Live? On YouTube? What? Yeah, on Saturday the 2nd of October at 5 past midnight. I don't know what we're doing yet. We might not even know what we're doing at midnight, but at 5 past midnight we will be live. So look out for that. There's a Join promo. There's a promo coming up. Join us then, and don't forget, we are back on Tuesday as well. So we'll see you then before the live one. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. <laughs>